Hello there, it's Josh here with Fun for Home, here with a little thought for week 13. So, our story this week was all about being scared of the unknown, by which I mean coming across something you don't know or, or haven't seen before. And little Bunny heard something that she didn't know before, and her mind was filled with all the terrible, horrible things that she thought it could be. And I think for us, the unknown can be really scary too. And like Bunny, it's really easy for our minds to start running away with us and, and think of all the things that we could it, that it could be. And it's natural to try and prepare ourselves for the worst. That's effectively what we do when we try and think of those worst situations. But when we start to fear those situations and it starts to stop us from doing things, that's when that fear can start to be harmful. And as we know from our story, sometimes, just like with Bunny and the fact that what she thought was a really horrible noise turned out to just be not as scary at all, it can be for us like that, that, that it's not as scary as we thought it first might be. But what really helped Bunny to overcome her fears? Well, it was Badger. And one thing that can really help us when we're worried uh, is just to talk to the friends and family that we have around us. Just talking about it can help. But on top of that, as Christians, we believe that we have someone else who looks out for us as well. In Matthew, in the Bible, Jesus talks about how we shouldn't worry because we don't see the birds worrying about what they're going to wear or, or the bugs worrying about what they're going to eat that day. And that's because they know that the food that they need will be provided for them. But actually, how much more um, than providing for the bugs and the birds will God provide for us as well? Because he loves us so much. Jesus says this, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. So now we're in a time of unknown. And it can be really easy to be overwhelmed with worry and with fear from that unknown. But I encourage you to try and remember, have faith that there are people around to help you, that God is with you and can protect you. And if you feel you don't have anyone to turn to, drop an email or give us a call um, for our team here at St Mary's and we can do our best to help you not to worry and not to be afraid as well. But for now, let's dive into some questions. So have a think about these questions and have a chat with the people that you're with. So question number one, what are you most afraid of at the moment? And question number two, can you think of a time when you were more afraid than you should have been? Question number three, what can you do to help yourself with your fears this week? So I hope you enjoyed our thought for this week and we'll see you uh, tomorrow for our story for week 14 of Fun for Home. See you then. Bye.